out here, brother? What's your name, first of all? My name is Vernell Brown, aka Fatty. Daddy Fatty. What's we we going love on? what are we doing. We're out here at CW Chris, giving back to the community, and we love what we do. This, you see, there's a lot of people that care about people, a lot of police, a lot of do what we do. So that's what we out here doing. Yes, sir. And giving food back to the community. Yes, indeed, man. Love it. We going we gonna do an interview soon, man. People be asking me questions about the fight you had, the famous fight you had back in '79, man. So you we, know. Well, like like I say, like I say, we gon' we gonna get back to that. Like I say, man, I hated that happened to us, but it's all love between us in the '60s and all the blood and crip that we get together and, and love one another. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, brother. So, what, what are they serving here, man? What is it? We, we serving uh, CW, CW uh, uh, New Wings, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. All right. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. All right. Appreciate that. Let me see if I can find Chris real quick for that. Uh... All right. Here, CW and Chris fish uh, feeding the community here with. Uh, Hey, what are we doing out here? Do you don't mind me asking? Oh, hey, well, we are uh, you know, trying to bridge the gap between LAPD and the community. It's just a small step in a positive direction, so we're out here giving away food. We're serving up lemonade. We're having conversations with the police. We have children. So, you know, just want the community to come out and express their concerns and just, you know, um, build a better relationship. It's about connection and growth. So. I believe. That. So let me ask you a question. Will you come with me over here real quick? So there's a beautiful young lady over here, and this beautiful young lady is selling lemonade. Can you tell me, is there anything you could tell me about this beautiful young lady and the lemonade? This, this beautiful little girl right here is Nala B. This is my daughter. And this is her lemonade stand. Nala! Did you encourage her or did she do it on her own? Oh, we're, we're a team. We're this is her idea, but... I help put it into, you know, existence. She told me that she's going to save the money so she can go to college, but more importantly, she said she want to help homeless people. And I was like, aw, who told her that? Yes, that was all her. That, that was, was all her. Yeah, that was all her. If it was up to me, I would want her to open up her own lemonade bar right. or be a successful businesswoman. Right. I just got to let her do her thing. So she really wants to help out the homeless. She wants to open up an animal shelter. So, um, yeah. That's indeed. Well, that's a beautiful job you've done. So everybody come out and support the lemonade. I just gave her $5. I explained to her that based on my blood sugar level, I can't just be walking around. I, me. <laughs> I just can't walk around drinking lemonade. But uh, all right. I appreciate you. Thank you for that. All right. We got the chief of police here. We got uh, Henley Hawkins. Uh, the Crenshaw High School played baseball at Van Ness Park. We got Chief Regina Scott. She is the black police chief here. She's trying to leave us in five months. So this is going to go on YouTube. I'm going to say that. I'm not trying she's, to She's going to Bermuda or somewhere. The, Trinidad. The, I don't know. The where is she going? It's, it's a forced retirement. That's what I'm saying. A forced so can I talk to him right here? He said Bermuda. You need some luggage? I'll go. Put <laughs> <laughs> the luggage on. So here we go. We're yeah. going to Bermuda. Okay. All right. Well, I'll make sure your husband. I don't see that. <laughs> but look, so here's the thing. So you've been in the community when we first did intervention at the Trinity Baptist Church. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember. We, it was uh, when the concept came up, people thought we had lost our minds. So oh, the police sitting gonna... down with the community members. So did the police ever say to you guys, like, you guys are hug thuggers? Why are you hugging the thugs and that? You, you know the rhetoric. You were sitting, you were standing right next to me. Right. And But what's crazy is you look at that time uh -huh. and you see where it is now. Right. It, 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 if you would have asked me then, 10, 15, 20 years ago, would we be where we are now? I would say no way. Right. So I, I so, so one, I give to the OGs, to the, the interventionists that stuck with it. Because right. it was rough in the beginning. Right. Uh, but they saw that vision that we didn't see. And they knew that this was going to be a better tomorrow. And uh, so, I, so I thank God for that. Yes, so, indeed. Mm-hmm, exactly. Well, well I, I thank God for your commitment. And that you stayed with us. And you could have you could have easily went to the valley or worked somewhere else, you know, much nicer. Or up underneath the building downtown, you know, somewhere and administrative, but you stayed out here in the streets with us. So. I, and, I, and I had to beg to come back here though. I just wish I didn't have to leave. Right. That's it. So but you you'll see me only you won't see me in the blue uniform. I'll probably wear a t shirt or All right. second chair. Well, I, yeah, I got second call shirts right. for you. Go, second All right. call, yes indeed. Go. You look like a medium. I got a medium for you, all right? I'll be a medium. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it.
All right. If you don't mind, man, what are we doing here? Who are you with, brother? Hey, how's it going, Skip? With Chief Moore, LAPD, what we're trying to do is bridge the gap in the community. In the LAPD, we're trying to bridge that gap to where the community can see the outstanding job that LAPD has been, done, been doing the last few years. Can I share something with you? Yes. You use the word trying. I want you to look around. If you look around and see all the LAPD and all the community members, you're not trying, brother. We're doing it. You've done it. Okay. You've done it. Great job. All right. We appreciate it. All right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I just want to share with you guys that, uh, oh, look, here goes another guy, another community guy, man. This guy's out the community. I got I to gotta put you on YouTube, brother. What, hey. what community you grow up in, man, if you don't mind me asking? Southeast Jordan Down Housing Project. Jordan Down yeah. Housing Project. And what do you do now, brother? Los Angeles I'm police officer. Man, yes, indeed. Los Angeles police officer for the last 25 years. Ain't that something? You know, it is. Did you ever yeah, think I, that growing up in the Jordan Downs that you no, would? No, no, no. I run it past my boys, and they all surprised me. You know, but... It is what it is. I, it, was a, it was a calling for me to do something different. Yes, uh, you gotta do change from internal. You know, people with the power inside, we get inside and make those incremental, small changes over and over again to get more people to come inside from the Jordan Downs, our Imperial Courts, or the Knicks. Um, because we, we've we been fighting that battle from the outside for a long time. Yes, sir. Time so how better. important is that, man, to have people come from the community actually work in the community? Because do you think it leads a better understanding? Uh, most definitely. I, I see it firsthand. You know, I've been over 25 years. Now, I can't say 25 years ago it was quite different. Um, I had to deal with some issues, some barriers I had to cross. Uh, I, but I had to keep what my mom and dad instilled in me. You know, I, I keep where I came from alive and well. Um, but now, we recruit more and more folks from outside to come inside. Folks like me, folks who grew up like me, folks who understand walk the walk, talk the talk, and understand our culture. Right. Uh, so we get more. Here. We need more. Yes, indeed. Well, I truly appreciate you, my brother. Uh, and thank I you for you. thank you for giving back and coming back I to the appreciate community. You, soldier. Yes, appreciate sir. You. Appreciate it. All right, you guys. I'm gonna walk outside this gate to show you where I'm at. I'm on 65th place. So as I look across the street, 65th place, let me share something with you. Where that police car is, that's the Rolling 60s. Where I am right here, this is the A-Trey Gangster neighborhood. I, I did a video before about that Cameo liquor store that's across the street and C.W. Chris. So C.W. Chris, uh, they chicken and fish, fish and chicken. What they did is they're bridging the gap, bringing LAPD into the community. Because so many times, uh, you know, shit, they shoot us, let's tell the truth. And so many times we, uh, run from them and say F them and all that. I'm not telling anybody to change your thoughts, your opinion, but this is an effort to see if we are the same. And that's why I want to highlight Brother Andre Clancy, who grew up in the Jordan Downs. And I want to highlight uh, Henley Hawkins. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over here. But he went to Crenshaw High School, played baseball at Van Ness Park. So now he's the captain of 77. So we have some people who grew up in the community that come back to the community. They go Henley Hawkins right here. That's the brother right there. So, uh, you know, just looking around, looking at everybody, seeing what they're doing. This is a, a good event. So let me share with you guys. We're on between 65th Street and 65th Place. CW and Chris, fish and chicken. If you think that ain't no gangsters here, ain't no gang members here, y'all seen Fatty, man. That's a little frog from A Trey Gangster. And he's the one. Yes, he is the one who's fighting Tyrone. Even though he's not proud of it and not proud of what happened. But and Hintley Hawkins grew up in the 60s. He never been from 60s, never gang bang, but look at Fatty right there. So, you know, just want you guys to know, man, that their efforts to not only reduce the violence in the community with the community versus community, but also efforts in the community to reduce the violence with LAPD and the community as well. So with that being said, I'm going to end this first video, do the time, and then I'll start another video. Look at Kathy right there. Kathy also from the community. All right.